Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays, and this is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, we are in June. It's already blooming, blossoming, and I hope you are as well. We're going to continue talking about managing weight and so much more about how to shed, how to release, how to let go, and everything to do why I talk about stand up. But before I do that, if you are interested in purchasing my book, by all means, the Stand Up to Slim Down, you can be, uh, I can give you 10% off today. And also, to schedule a session with me, just text 818-221-2797 and text SLIM, SLIM, S-L-I-M, to 818-221-2797. All right. So, I was thinking, you know how sometimes we think about something and then we come and talk about it? So, let's have a conversation. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Lisa Bubari by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress and anger management consultant, and the founder of Heal Within, which is a healing center in Glendale, California, where transformation begins. So what does transformation mean? What does the ishin, the T-I-O-N mean? You know, when you look at the, the dictionary, you will see that T-I-O-N is, um, is to take action, is the result of. Anytime we put the T-I-O-N like um, relation, right, action, it, everything is the action or the result of. So when we talk about a relationship, or a connection, it is the action of this, or the result of this. Now, it could be a relation, which is relating to one another, connecting to one another. Anything that you add the T-I-O-N means taking action of what you want. So here's my question. When we talk about drop weight, managing our weight, managing anything that we want. What is the connection to our mind and our body? Because when I talk about mind-body connection, it truly is what we think, what we feel, and the body will do exactly what you ask for. So I had a client that said, you know, I've done so much of yo-yo literally, the yo-yo weight, gaining, losing, gaining, losing. And we think about what is the effect, what, why we gain so much. And as we were doing the session together and delving deeper within, because everything that I do is my signature, 3E. And what is the 3 stand for? It's we evoke what was. That means we go back to another time and a place where you had the experience, where it was the trigger, where it's the root cause. Okay? Yes. Through hypnosis, um, sometimes you can do the cognitive, you can do exercise, you can go on a diet. But once you let go of that, or even after lap band, after doing... Um, uh, the tuck or after doing um, bypass surgery, any of that, lap band surgery, doing the, the band, doing the balloon, doing exercises and everything. So those are fantastic. Getting a trainer to be in shape is incredible. But once the trainer once you let that go, once you stop going back in there, you, you see, there is that incorporated deep mindset that is wonderful to be in conjunction. And what is that? Because once you shift all that, 
there is that internal I, the internal need that may bring you back to where you are. And as my clients say, I went back. Okay. So what is this going back? is going back to another time and a place to realize what is the connection to the food what is the connection to gaining the weight once you have that connection to the food or to the circumstances or to the root cause then you can come to embrace all that experiences embrace your reality today in order for you to evolve to your heart's desire so what what does all that mean here's what happened my client has done so much yo-yo at one time she dropped and i call it dropped over 35 pounds and she has gained it back and then she lost the weight as she says and then gained it back after her third child she went on a very strict diet for over a year and she maintained it a year and a half later she started gradually to gain the weight so after doing two sessions with her guess what the core reason for her was that she did not feel good about who she is the little girl didn't not the adult the adult is doing everything in order to get into that body image to get into that weight into looking good because that's what she wants but the internal self that internal um, dialogue that she's been having the little girl has been saying my dad did not like me my dad was not a provider. My dad was a weak person. And I have to be as strong as my mom. And her mom was an overweight person. So what she did not realize as a five or six year old girl, why the dynamic between mom and dad. So that little girl looking at mom and dad okay she presumed dad being weak mom being strong mom being overweight she has to uh, she has become one of the strongest leaders there is and maintains the weight because that is what in her mind in that little girl's mind is giving her the status the acceptance the the way of being conducting and achieving so you might think well that's so nonsense it might be with our cognitive thinking way but it is not to that little girl at the age of six so everything that we do i want you to realize when we talk about weight when we talk about anything that we take on as a negative behavior or a habit that it's not conducive to our well-being it has so much to do with our core beginning beginning okay the way we were raised how we were brought up uh in not only ethics and behavior our morals our values of what we see is what we do so it's not the person right here right now i hope this makes sense it's that little girl and little boy so when you think back children from the age of zero to seven do nothing except just look observe and write so just like the conscious mind it looks it listens and it learns so we copy our mom we take on everything that dad says what we hear what we see and we incorporate it just like a sponge 
without thinking, analyzing, or judging until after seven years when the cognitive mind starts being in a place that it can make decisions on its own. That's when it starts because, you know, children do as they say or uh, behave and accordingly and they just react although some respond but it's mostly reaction so we react what we learn the i o the t i o n it is in result of or in response to now that we think about it what other t i o n's have we done without thinking about that that how deeply so much of who we are is ingrained in us so when we talk about mindset reset i want you to also think about mindset reset from the core the beginning of just think about some of the habits that you have without judging just think about it is it enhancing who i am is this habit or behavior taking me to where my heart's desire is and think about it if you have money issues where is that coming from go all the way to your childhood if it is weight issues sometimes it's non-knowingly it is so deeply ingrained in our subconscious that we don't even think about it right so in my book when i talk about sorry when i talk about analyzing some of the things when we go to what is it that we are carrying are we carrying our past are we bringing it forward is there some weight that has been put upon you that you are carrying and it could be emotional weight or you took it as a physical weight but it's the burden that you are taking care of or did you make a decision for someone to take on their burden their weight their circumstances and you took it upon yourself to fix it and to till this day you are carrying it so this client of mine had been carrying a lot of burden and weight that she thought it was put upon her mother and her mother was carrying it so in her little girl's way she wanted to unburden her mother and as she started uh developing and becoming a girl from girl to a woman she started taking on more and more and more now by where she is resenting the fact that she cannot lose the weight and here's exactly what i want to talk to you about you know so much of us we do this and i wonder what is your habit is it smoking is it drinking is it overweight those are things that we do overly and i want to know not the things that you do normally that it becomes just a normal habit but over overweight over smoking overwhelmed overburdened over right things that you took it upon yourself that perhaps you may be resenting the fact that you cannot make a change and if so let us delve deeper let us connect so here is a technique one of the techniques i've shared is to sit down and literally write write the things that you think you are ready to let go if it is a relationship if it is a connection if it is overweight those are the things that you have an emotional connection to it and the tion is the end result of if it is a, ne- a relationships that you have gone from one to another that they 
have not been good for you, let's go and find the cycle and stop the cycle. Because the only way you can do it is by going to a time and of a place. And it may not be a six-year-old. It could be a ten-year-old, a man or a woman, that you took upon yourself. So the other day we were talking about what is a lifestyle change. You know, time to let go. When is it time to let go of cravings for things and it could be food, it can be sugar, it can be chocolate, it can be that one drink, that one whatever it is that you are seeking. That you think, if this is not in place, I cannot function. If this is not in order, I cannot function. Like a, a week ago, there is this client that the husband brought and you might think how far-fetched this is that she's been coming for OCD and OCD is you know it, it is what we call a disorder is it a disorder is it or a disorder or is it finding a way to have your mind and body be in order is recognizing what is the behavior in order for things to be in order in order for things to be in order right so and that's the same as food when you realize that through hypnosis, doing hypnotherapy, we can get to the root cause of why we crave certain things. We can shift it. And it can be from a cookie, from a food, or craving something that satisfies that hole, the need, the want, the craving, the feel good of the pattern. So this client of mine realized that if she were to stop doing what she did, she felt as if she's depriving herself. And that in itself, the recognition is like, oh my God, I've got everything I want. I have no need that every time I stress out or I am sad, or I am unhappy, or I am ugly, to go and open the refrigerator and grab anything. And she had packets and packets of things that she loves, and she would go and grab those. So that's called the emotional eating. Through understanding what happens once you eat that, how does that satisfy? Does it satisfy your mind? Or does it really satisfy your body? Because if it, if it is the body, then your body does not need or want that extra weight. See, this is all tools and techniques. By recognizing it, writing it, and putting the emotional connection to the things that make you upset, or angry, or crave, or feel as if I just got fed emotionally is the first or it's the beginning of you understanding that what you eat is not because of um, taking you to that level of being where you want but actually it takes you a place that just sa satisfies you temporarily and the same thing as cigarettes and drinking and uh, vaping or nowadays marijuana those are the band-aids the band-aids to the wound that has not healed i hope this un makes sense so we eat because we are lonely we eat because so many of us feel deprived 
uh, stress factors. And it could be we crave because of uh, boredom. We crave because we feel um, hopeless. We feel um, just... You see, all the feelings that I'm talking about... Um, so it's so deeply rooted and the hurt that does not find its way to express the hurt that you cannot share express reveal that hurt still stays inside and it could be a an emotional hurt it could be a wound that was so deep that you just don't want to touch it. You don't want to go there. And that's very valid. It is. But when you think about it, it keeps coming back. Keeps knocking on the door. And it's like having a cavity that no matter how much aspirin you put on it, how much flossing you do, how much... Um, uh, you brush your teeth and everything that cavity is going to get worse and worse to a point that it's going to hit the root that's when you need a root canal or worse it's going to go all the way down to your gums and have more problem the pus the emotional wound the connection it's time to connect and find a result to that so many have body image issues and we're talking about the body image of teenagers as a matter of fact Last weekend, I was, just this past weekend, I was uh, at a mastermind and one of the ladies sitting there, uh, amazing, amazing human being, and she said, my daughter at age 16 wrote a book for teenagers and their body image. And it has become a bestseller and I can't remember, but I will find the name of that book. But teenagers with their body image and issues with eating and depriving themselves of food, depriving themselves of, if I eat this, it's going to be, uh, it's, I'm going to become overweight and uh, issues with um, eating disorders. Those disorders are because there is a deeper rooted disconnect. No, no matter what we do in life, and I'm talking about eating because especially for women, it's one of the biggest things. Having a body image because of the media, because of expectations, because of friends, this is what I'm supposed to look, this is what I am supposed to be. Because if that does not happen, I no longer like myself. And when I don't like myself, internally, subconsciously, we go into self-destructive. And this is for everybody. And that's the cycle that I work with my clients to stop the destructive disruptive and destructive behaviors so in a way eating is one of the most rewarding delicious things to do why because our body needs it it needs to survive it is the tool to get this body revived and working so what we put in our body it's not how we put it, it's by eating. It's not what we put, it's why we put. Just like anything in life, you have a business, you start a movement, you have 
a goal? What is the why to your goal? What is the why? Once you recognize your why, it becomes so much easier to achieve your desired goal. So, we evoke what was. We embrace the reality, embrace all your experiences, even your body, your decisions. Take ownership to be where you are today. And then you realize it's so much easier to evolve to what it is that you want to be. We all deserve success and the perfect body and the perfect body is perfect only for you. Not for your lover, not for your parents, not for your children, but you. Why do you want to fit in the size, to be healthier, to be more successful, to let go of certain habits? I want you to know your why not for other people's expectation. And that is why not only my program is called Stand Up to Slim Down, is I want you to stand up for yourself, for you to know I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy with my body, with what I want, where I am going, what I am achieving, my success and your success in every way that you choose. So today when I say stand up to slim down or stomp on smoking is, you know, even when I say stomp on smoking, it's like literally stomping on those cigarettes is visually, actually, doing that and saying no more when I say stand up stand up for who you are for your decisions for where you want to go and I'm not saying be self-centered but be clear that everything you do is not because someone told you but your decision to become healthier lovelier thinner or the size that fits you best and it could be size 14 it could be size 8 it could be size 6 I don't know but whatever makes you feel good because when you do it for someone else and you realize after you do everything for that one person, right? And they still have issues. You may get to where you want. And if the issues, their anger, their resentment, them not liking you still continues, or their resentment still continues, you got to where you want. But it was for the wrong reasons. The best reason is to have that fire in you for you or achieving the reward that you want so that you can be proud of yourself. I've talked about this so many times. Nothing in life trumps self-pride. Truly self-pride. Just like when you achieve it as a child when you get on that bicycle and you realize no one is holding on that bicycle anymore and you have been pedaling, right? You pass a test and you're happy. You or your children or your loved ones, they just finished school and they completed their achievements and you truly celebrate that you're not celebrating because you did it for them 
they're celebrating you're celebrating their success saying i am so proud of you for doing so well guess what there is a inner child within you that you must be proud of and if you haven't been proud of yourself it's about time you do everything you do you do it for you the good the bad the right the wrong doesn't matter somebody may motivate you inspire you challenge you yes even challenge you to that and you take that challenge and you achieve it it's your achievement and I want you to celebrate your achievement you know why because you stood up you did it and today you can so this is Lisa I am here to celebrate your achievements and it doesn't matter if you come to me or you go somewhere else if you exercise or just like I started by saying I was away for this weekend and in one day I walked over 17,000 steps and when I looked and I realized wow 8,000 steps is three and a half miles and I did more than seven miles of walking in one day and that was not intentional the second day I did over 14,000 steps and I thought to myself why is it that I'm not doing the same here it could be weather it could be because I didn't want to take an uber or a taxi and you know what the same way as I just remembered I was mesmerized by the lights and everything and we were in Vegas instead of doing that I was so mesmerized with everything that was happening the first day and the second day that the third day I realized I had to shut down and go into my quiet place because those lights the sound the smoke everything that vibrating at a different level it was just too much for me and you know what even yesterday I shut down everything and I started healing inside by taking care of me by saying I got so much stimulation and there was so much good that happened now it's time for me to go into my silent mode and take care of my inner space of no electronics no TV nothing but my quiet time and that quiet time is what I am talking about giving back to yourself by recognizing what you need and you take care of you so today again if you would like to connect with me and it could be for anything let's get on a call and have a 20 minute free consultation and a discovery to see if we are a fit to even work with each other so that I can guide you and support you in achieving what you want every day in every way you have a choice and I would be humbled and thank you if it's time for me to be the guide to help you heal within you can text slim to be a part of uh, get an audio recording to help you drop weight or just text I matter to 818-221-2797 and let's get on a call this is Lisa I wish you all the best let's connect and find how I can be of support for you to have the t-i-o-n taking action to having what you heart what your heart desires this is Lisa I bid you goodbye and thank you for being a part of heal talk Tuesdays until next week god bless you and may the universal light surround you thank you for being here if 
you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.